So we did it. We're here at the Super Bowl. Oh, this is so oh, exciting. Super, what, number, what number Super Bowl is this? I think it's in the 50s, I think. Okay. We're here at Super, Super Bowl 57. 57. Yeah. We're at the Super Bowl. We, we're here Ooh, in hot. State Farm. <sighs> State Farm Arena, Arena in, or whatever it's called. In, in that Arizona, area, that special in, uh, area. In Glendale, Arizona. Glendale, We're in the special yeah. area uh, reserved for VIPs, the, <laughs> the Total Recall show yeah. <laughs> at the Super Bowl. You know, the, the crowd's excited. Uh, is this your first Super Bowl? Is this your first time it's at the Super Bowl? My first time at the Super Bowl. It's nice to not be with the hoi polloi <laughs> right, yeah. here. Uh, yeah, we got like a velvet rope. <laughs> velvet rope. Rihanna's the halftime show. Okay. It's Al Yankovic Senior. <laughs> 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 he's, he's the one that... Uh, uh, th Doesn't he live in the area? Is he like an Arizona guy? There's like some celebrities that are like Arizona people. Is he an Arizona guy? I'm not sure. I, you know what? I think he is. He might be like... Uh, there's... Uh, you know, it's like uh, kind of like your uh, the rap, the new rap pack, mm -hmm. kind of like a, uh, just outside of not too far away from L.A. Yeah, yeah, a little bit, a little bit of space from L.A. It's but exciting you, you being here. Point. Thanks for is, suggesting to do. Yeah, this. I'm glad this we is, came. Yeah, this this was good. It was you know it, a lot of action going on. We mm -hmm. you know. The game is one thing. Celebrity spotting. Celebrity. Like, I thought you were gonna watching. say snacks. Snacks. I love this. They got the great. Snacks, no too. The nachos here are amazing. Oh, you get the gosh. nachos. They got um. It's those classic like really super yellow ones with yeah, the right. with the cheese retro, and the hot retro nachos. Retro nachos. I actually made some of those last week, but I can't get enough. I'm gonna have them yeah. Later. This is a big deal. Like I'm, I'm from Philly and. My Eagles are in, wow. you know, are in the Super Bowl, uh, and I call them my Eagles. Like, I usually like, I don't watch any football, and then it's like I hear the Eagles are in the Super Bowl. Then I that then I watch. I watch that. So they're my Eagles too, because I'm gonna put a little action on. Them. Oh, okay, <laughs> they're, they're your Eagles today. Today, a little taste. Yeah, it's uh, and then the Kansas City Chiefs, Chiefs are the other ones. The Kansas City Chefs. The, yeah. <laughs> the Kansas the City Chefs. Chefs uh, versus the Eagles. Uh, it's gonna be a great game. So it's yeah, Kansas City, Philadelphia Eagles. I, I love the Eagles. Like they're underdogs. Like they, when I was a kid, they, they didn't have much going on around that time yeah. you know like so so they feel like underdogs to me you know like they, like they're definitely like underdogs and then they got they got the philly attitude i like that that's important to me that the philly attitude <laughs> there's so, so like you know like do you want a foot like you want a football team that's kind of like the bad news bears or something like you don't want a football team that's like polite <laughs> and you know sweet and soft like no. you want a football team that's got a little bit of an attitude yeah right? you they want somebody attitude. with throw like snowballs at santa claus yeah, snowball i thought it was batteries at santa claus i it thought they, saw batteries. they threw batteries <laughs> maybe it was snowballs with batteries in it. inside they booed the pope i mean all these like <laughs> there was a jail at the link at the in the, in the stadium yeah the jail in the stadium, stadium. yeah and then uh you know they uh, when you know they have to grease the poles, so no one so climbs, no one climbs up it. People eat eating horse, horse shit. shit. There was also <laughs> this legendary thing. I think it was after the last Super Bowl where they beat the Patriots. Somebody spray painted it on the side of a garbage truck. It's they tried to put "fuck Tom B," but it looks like "fuck two. <laughs> <laughs> it's, the, it's the iconic Philadelphia yeah. "fuck two. <laughs> Yeah. So, uh, yeah, and, the, and the, we the, might see that. I think I see it over there. Actually, somebody now, brought it. Here. The Flyers have gritty, because I remember the Philly Fanatic. And, Love uh, the, the Philly, Philly Fanatic. Fanatic. Yeah, I used to have a Philly Fanatic doll. Oh, I'm jealous. I, I yeah. had the pirate pair. I wanted the Philly Fanatic doll. I love how Gritty has a backstory. Mm -hmm. He was like, when they like tore the old stadium down, they found him in like the walls. And stuff. <laughs> he said he was surviving on like foot long hot dogs or okay. something. Or... Yeah, not cheesesteaks. <laughs> I think it was cheesesteaks. Yeah, okay. yeah. He was like, uh, yeah, he's like. I was been subsiding on cheesesteaks in the walls of the stadium. The Broad Street Bullies. This is like a special year because we got these these Super Bowl tickets. But yeah, do you usually do you do like a Super Bowl party? We'll uh, you know make some food. Yeah, uh, we used to go over like my, some of my friends would have Super Bowl parties before. Mm -hmm. Some of my relatives would uh, uh, would have Super Bowl parties. Like so, they usually like. Yeah, we'll watch a big game with some folks. Yeah, we, we weren't like a sports family. Like, like my dad didn't watch any sports until like, you know, very recently. Very recently, watch like no sports. We didn't, we didn't grow up with any sports. And so we never, ha we never had like a Super Bowl party or anything. And I don't remember ever going to one, you know, especially like in Philly, like when I was growing up, you're not like, like, what are you having a Super Bowl party for? Like in, when I moved to Pittsburgh, it was different because like, 
Pittsburgh was getting to the Super Bowl Always pretty the- frequently, pretty frequently. And so I've been been to a bunch my, here. My dad is a huge Steelers fan. Okay. And, like, even as, like, you know, as he gets older, I have a feeling, like, even if he, like, starts forgetting stuff, he, he can remember, like, the, who the Steelers, who the opposing quarterback was mm-hmm. when the Steelers played. Mm-hmm. Uh, he, like, he, he's a huge uh, sports fan. Yeah. And, it, like, I got that, like, I love hockey, football, like, I got mm-hmm. that from my from my dad. So like we are uh, big Steelers fan and like uh, when, when I was a kid, like we like I, I went to one Phillies game and it was like my friend's dad took me and my friend to a Phillies game. My dad never took me to any sports game ever. There was one time he got some like free uh, Sixers tickets. We were gonna go see oh, the nice. Sixers, but then <laughs> um, went like on the way there. We like we stopped for gas, and he wanted me to pump the gas, so I pumped the gas, and then he asked me like which button I pressed, whether I got like, and I couldn't remember which button, and he got real mad, so he's like, "We're going home." So we turned, I think he was just looking for an excuse to not like he didn't want to go. It was a yeah. chore for him. So the fact that I I couldn't tell because it was like there you know some gases it'll say like you know, regular, uh, ultra, this, or whatever. But this one yeah. had, like, numbers, and it didn't say... And so I, I didn't know what any of the numbers were. I just picked one... I picked whatever one I thought, you know, would, would be best. Would be best. Yeah, so, so it was angry. Looking for an eggs yeah. strategy. Like, I love the Pirates. would go to the Pirate games mm-hmm. when I was little, and uh, still do, but... Uh, my dad, he he played softball. In, like, his softball mm-hmm. league would go travel and, like, go mm-hmm. to, like, different... Uh, you know, play away game stuff, but he got his team got to play in Three Rivers Stadium one time. Oh, cool! Like there was no, you know, not it was just kind of like they got to play on the field, so it was mm-hmm. neat. Uh, and uh, little when I was younger, the Steelers made the Super Bowl Super Bowl Thirty, the duel in the desert versus yeah, okay. the Cowboys. Okay, they lost that, and that's the I think that was one of the saddest moments of when they lost that I've ever seen my dad because mm-hmm. <laughs> I remember like look like. After the game was over, they would do like the coverage after the game. I just remember him looking like, at like a fifty yards. It was like a devastating loss. Mm-hmm. It was, it was like, that was like he, yeah. was, he was crushed by that. But my, they came, they won a bunch more since. I I never I never saw my dad do anything athletic. <laughs> there was the, the closest I ever saw him do anything athletic. Was the time pushed him down the hill and he just kept running because he couldn't stop himself. <laughs> that was, the, that was the, the, he couldn't stop himself <laughs> until the hill like petered up. That's the only athletic thing I ever saw. Like he had a bike, but I never saw him ride it. And like he got he bought it like during the seventies during like the gas shortage. Because he would like ride his bike to work, but that was like you know that was year that was way in the past. So I, I'd never seen him on the bike, and yeah, never, never saw like he never did a sport, never did you know. Like, so, <laughs> <Right> <laughs> <down>. <laughs> no, we pushed him down the hill. That was that was it. Because <laughs> my brothers would they got they stuck with the sport. Mm-hmm. It's like my brother's like a coach now yeah. and stuff, and I, I was like I'd rather be home listening to Smoking Popes playing like, <laughs> my guitar and stuff. So yeah, I was, I, they let let me. Choose what I kind of like wanted. To I do. wanted to do sports. I wanted to do sports, but like my parents didn't want to drive me to. You yeah. know, like it's such a commitment taking your kid to like a sports yeah. thing. Yeah. So, when we get to the top of the hill, let's push Dad down the hill. <laughs> like we were walking up this hill, you know, and then we did, and like I, it, it was one of those pranks that goes like way beyond your wildest dreams. Like I never would have like I I thought maybe you know we'd push him and then take two steps like ah very oh, funny yeah. whatever, but it was like he just. Kind of, <laughs> going and going and going. I wish uh, we could have, uh, you know, had an extra ticket for your dad to come here to see the Super Bowl. I'm yeah, sure he like, too. he would, um, he would love it. Like, a lot of celebs. I'm seeing a lot of, like, there's the Goodyear blimp flying around. Well, like, yeah. See that? Like, because, like, he would, like, not only like the game, but, like, people watch, too. Did, didn't Lou Pearlman own a blimp for, for a while? I think, you know what it was? It wasn't the Goodyear blimp. But um, that was like the beginning of Lou Pearlman's <laughs> aviation career because I watched like the Lou Pearlman documentary. Yeah, and he, um, I think he flew the Jordache blimp. Like it was like 
he and, and again he was sort of like a scam artist from day one. So he was he had this like second hand like piece of shit blimp, this tiny blimp. But and and I think I think he painted it gold or something. He painted it gold. But he was he'd hype it up like he's got this amazing blimp. And so then he I guess he sold like Jordash or somebody on it. And so he's gonna fly the Jordash blimp. And I don't think the thing ever got off the ground. It was like <laughs> So yeah, Lou Pearlman had his his blimp. Yeah, he that could be that was like, part of tra that was the beginning of Transcontinental Trans Airlines, <laughs> which became Transcon Records. Was that with the uh, NSYNC and Backstreet oh, yeah, Boys? The, the the whole like boy band genre. Everybody he had, mm -hmm. was was uh, he had him locked down. Mm -hmm. he, he's not flying that. No, no he's he's, uh, he's he's flying. Fl uh, you know, he's he's somewhere. Somewhere he's not. He's, not, uh, he's in another dimension. dimension. <laughs> You know, we kind of like also the Total Recall blimp. The Total Recall blimp. I've been waiting to see it pass by. It's gonna pass. <laughs> it's I'm I'm so it's, excited it's about a this. new a newly resurrected transcontinental <laughs> airlines. Yeah, is we, running the, from Lou Perlman's estate. <laughs> we're, we're on the lookout for the Total Recall show blimp. Just thinking about like past Super Bowl, like it, it was like a Super Bowl party where I first had dirt, 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 dirt. dirt. Dirt and, dirt and worms. Well, I don't know that there were worms. It was just dirt. Dirt. I don't think there was worms in it. I think that came along later. Okay, that's was, cool, though. Dirt. dirt. We're having dirt. All right, dirt, some dirt. Dirt. Dirt, dirt. Dirt, dirt. Dirt, 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 dirt. We're having dirt. So, like, dirt. That was the first time I had dirt. It was at a Super Bowl party. I think the first time I had, like, buffalo chicken dip. Oh, God. At a, was buffalo at a Super Bowl party. Buffalo chicken dip would be really good. Oh. Yeah, that's the, that's the problem. I mean, it's, it's just so great to be at the Super Bowl. But, like... Man, when you're at home for the Super yeah. Bowl or at a cool party, you know, all that comfort food, you Ooh, know. Like, nachos are going to hit the spot. Mm -hmm. Buffalo chicken dip. Yeah, the nachos are like 30 bucks uh, 30. a thing here. But, I mean, you know, go for it, you know. Yeah, but. You we, only live once, YOLO. We also, uh, we're in like a suite, too. We have access to a suite mm -hmm. as well. Uh, we, uh, It's prime. We're, we have like. Um, the sweet life of Zach and Zach Cody. and Cody. <laughs> the sweet. Uh, great action. I've seen like Bruce Willis and Damon Wayans from The Last Boy Scout are mm -hmm. around here too. What um, what what team usually plays here? Is it like the in in Arizona? I think it's uh, the, the the Cardinals. The Cardinals. Okay. They you know they're they're uh, really shitty this year mm -hmm. and they've been shitty for a while. But mm -hmm. uh, they they're the they're the team that the Steelers beat in I think the last Super Bowl they won mm -hmm. and that was in two thousand nine. Mm -hmm. Man, that's like, like over a decade ago. Yeah, and like, uh, two thousand nine was the last Steelers win. Yeah, they were in the Super Bowl. Yeah, they, they were in the like. That's the they thing. They lost the Super Bowl. That's what w has been kind of fun living in Pittsburgh, is like, you know, th there's there's no like super long drought. Like they're always they they, they at least get in the Super Bowl. You yeah. Know? Like they might not win, you know, every time, but they get they're at least they're, they're in they're, the mix. They're in the mix. It's nice, and and that's why it's been a really nice development having, you know, this this uh, resurgence of the Eagles. Because when I was like a baby, like when I was like uh, like a like two or something, the Eagles were having a great run. Yeah. And that was like the whole rest of my life. It was just dry, dry, dry. And then and you know, they're back again. Yeah, yeah, they've been back for like the past I don't know, 10 years, 15 years. There's some celebrity Eagles fans too. Uh, I'm seeing some here. Yeah. And there's some real celebrity. There's Matthew Fox is a known, okay. <laughs> known mm -hmm. Eagles fan. Kiefer Sutherland. Okay. He's a known Eagle. I think I saw him around here. Mm -hmm. He looked, for some reason, he decided to dress up exactly like his character in The Lost Boys. <laughs> yeah, right. He yeah. has this like flat top buzz cut. That, that looks back. The Lost Boys, Lost Boys cut. Like I saw the fuck tomb go by. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, you know, there's. Um, I'm trying to think of like Philly royalty. Stallone. Yeah, <laughs> Stallone, Stallone's like honorary. Honorary Philly. Philly. Yeah. Uh, I mean, he 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 did like you know the greatest piece of Philly propaganda the, uh, you know, of all time. Philly Gan Hoagie Ganda. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Pat and Gino's are here. Yeah, Pat and Gino. Yeah. The Philly fanatics here. Mm -hmm. Um. <clears throat> Always sunny. It's always the the cast. Of right, always the cast sunny. of always sunny. Yeah, yeah. Danny DeVito yeah, is an, another honorary Philly the, guy. I'm trying to think of like who some of the real uh, Kevin Bacon. Kevin Bacon's. Is, here. Oh, nice. Kevin Bacon Philly. Yeah, Kevin Bacon's here, and yeah, and he's uh, he's doing that um, dance from, <laughs> from Footloose. <laughs> he's like punching. He's like punching like the lockers and stuff. And, 
<laughs> he was wearing a t-shirt that said diner on it. He yeah. was wearing his diner. That's funny. He was doing a footless dance where his Dine, diner yeah. he, is from... He, I must love his role in diner. Yeah, and he was uh, getting chased by like a giant snake from Tremors. Oh, the Tremors snake too. Yeah. And he was eating a pl plate of bacon. <laughs> right. Yeah, like, oh, yeah. Wild things. Wild things. Yeah. yeah he, he, he was... He was, he was swimming uh, naked in a pool. Yeah, like he was trying to uh, recreate that. So it's like I saw Kevin Bacon having a three-way with the Philly fanatic. <laughs> 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 and and grittier. He's like, you think what can happen at the Super Bowl? <laughs> some some uh, Philadelphia royalty is at the game. We got him. We got... Uh, uh, Don Pop, Don Tollefson. We got uh, uh, Gary Papa. We got wow. Uh, we got uh, oh, uh, yeah. Kevin Bacon was having a, a th well, Ca Captain Noah is here. Uh, Al Albert and his and his talent showcase. They're here. Whoa, what about tap um, dancing and 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 singing baby face? Uh, what about um, the uh, Sven uh, Gulli or Sven Gulli? Yeah, he's a Chicago guy. He wasn't local. He was. He was piped in. Piped in. Uh, a creature double feature oh. would, would, uh, would be here. Oh. It's 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 Phil. It's wall to wall Philly wall -to -wall royalty. Wall Philly. We got because uh, we got like our the Total Recall show managed to get a bunch of uh, comp tickets. Yes. So we're we're bringing in everybody. Yeah. Got I Dave used some Kaplan here. <laughs> <laughs> we, got, we used our comp tickets. I brought in. I, you know, we're greasing some palms. We're greasing palms. You know who else I brought in? Uh, uh, this is a surprise. It's William the Refrigerator Perry's okay. here, dressed as his G.I. Joe character. <laughs> okay, awesome. Yeah, Isn't that no, sick? That's a great, that he's got a, great idea. a giant mace, uh, custom steel football like yeah. mace. <laughs> yeah. Mike Schmidt and Pete Rose are here. Oh, wow. Mike Schmidt. There was like a game, there was like a game where, uh, a baseball game where Mike Schmidt had like real bad uh, stomach <laughs> bug or something, a bad stomach bug, and so my my pop, my grandfather was calling him Mike shit. <laughs> I thought that was like the funniest thing I'd ever heard. <laughs> he has a big brown stain on his face. <laughs> but yeah, every now and then they'd like cut to him in the in like the dugout, and he'd have this like blanket on, and so my pop would be like, "There's Mike oh my shit." <laughs> He'd crack himself up. With it. Of course, That's fucking me up. hilarious. <laughs> Pete yeah, Rose. Pete Rose. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, I mean, he was a Philly so, so, so long ago. But it's like, you know, when I was like born, he was like, you know, him, Mike Schmidt, and then um, who's the other guy? Tug McGraw. Where the, wow. Where, like, they, they were. They were like the big deal for the Philly. And it was like it was like the same with the Eagles. It's like the Phillies were like amazing. Like when I was born. The Phillies were like amazing, and then they had this like dry spell that like lasted till I was like in my twenties or something, and then uh, they're, they're you know, same thing again. with the same thing with the Eagles. The the uh, the Philly uh, Philadelphia Phillies got to the World the World Series recently. They won mm -hmm. won some not not too long ago. Mm -hmm. So it it is nice to like at least when you know there's some sorry franchises that haven't even like been. Yeah, to, no, like, it is it is like the it's it's. Um, yeah, the grass is always greener, and so because it's like, yeah, Phillies like held their own like pretty well. It's and you guys also have a, a pro basketball team. Too. Yeah, the Sixers. Yeah, that's one thing that I kind of miss here in Pittsburgh. It's like there's not like a pro, pro basketball. basketball team. What if there was a pro basketball? Like, was there ever a basketball team in in Pittsburgh? I'm not sure. I know there was the uh, the the basketball movie, The Fish That Saved Pittsburgh. <laughs> With uh, <laughs> with Don Knotts, or... <laughs> I think I can't remember. Uh, my brain's rotting. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> oh, you know who else is here? Larry Fine. <laughs> Larry, Larry Fine, Fine, another too. famous uh, Philadelphia royalty. Don Knotts is also here with Gus, that like uh, the field goal kicking horse. The, oh, okay. I thought you meant Gus, the, the second most famous groundhog. He's Italian. here too. I, I brought yeah, him in. Yeah, Phil. Punksy Fieri comes in, my God. Um, so, like, yeah, we're waiting for the game to get started, but, like, I could not be more excited. Not it's, be more awesome. excited. I think we're, we're going to have a great game. Game's going to be amazing. For the uh, halftime show, there's, you know, Rihanna's going to play, but also mm -hmm. there's some other, like, uh, Bruce... <laughs> Dern. Bruce Dern. <laughs> well, actually, uh, yeah, Bruce Dern is actually, I think... Um, 
They're parading he, around the corpse of Bruce Dern. <laughs> Bruce Dern is uh, from Black, the movie Black Sunday. Is I think I, yeah. I see him playing bumper blimps with our blimp. <laughs> He's the, the, his psychotic uh, character is going to drive the blimp mm-hmm. in. Is going to try to drive it into the uh, stadium. Mm-hmm. But whoever we have from the Total Recall uh, players is dry. I can't remember who's piloting that, our blimp. The, the Total Recall. Well, there it goes now. The Total oh, Recall blimp. Holy you're running, shit! It's real, and and we we're seeing it. We're, it's amazing. They're, he's fighting off Bruce Dern's blood <laughs> blimp. Uh, and at some yeah, point, there's like there's like a uh, some blimp combat going on. Yeah, they but, stuck a pin. In the front of our blimp, nice paint job. A little, it's peeling away, and I I can, I can kind of see the name of Lou, Lou Pearlman. What was his name? Uh, <laughs> Transcontinental. <laughs> Transcontinental. I can see blimp. the Transcontinental <laughs> look. Is peeling. Is I. Is underneath it. You know, I was thinking about some some high some like Philly sports highlights, and yeah, you did. There was the. Um, the throwing the batteries at at Santa, booing the Pope, and then there was like I think there was like a wrestling match where like everybody started throwing their chairs into the <laughs> oh ring. yeah the ECW or yeah. arena ECW because it was like the, the gimmick was the guys like I need a chair somebody give me a chair and, you know it was kind of like a setup so you, somebody was gonna hand me a chair but then every single person in the arena started throwing, throwing their throwing, chairs like, stop throwing your chairs <laughs> stop throwing like that it's just this like pile of chairs yeah like you're right. The ECW arena, um, but I see some ECW wrestlers in in attendance too. Sandman. Even. The other thing, this wasn't sports related, but there's like the Bill Burr uh, comedy <laughs> thing where he's in Philly, and then he's like he's bombing, and then he starts like talking about what a shithole <laughs> Philly is, and then like the crowd starts siding with, and then then he wins the crowd Bill over Burr. by like insulting Philly. Down. We're here in the desert sun. Um, bring get some water because it's, Ooh, it's you, hot. you dehydrate fast out here. It's a dry heat, as they Ooh. say. You dehydrate real fast, so you gotta. That was the thing. Like the first time I went to Arizona, it was kind of mind. Like it felt like I was uh, on Tatooine or something. It felt like I'm on in some alien. Because first of all, like you look in the distance and you see these amazing looking mountains, like mountains straight out of like Dante's Inferno or something. Wow. But then, it's like yeah, it's like the 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 atmosphere is so hostile to human life that like they have all these they have these like um moisture evaporators like all through the city where every now like every now and then this like gust of like little just to like keep you from like completely dehydrating and and turning into a beef jerky you know i like uh i'm in a tanning bed in in the stadium here i'm like getting a little extra crispy so stay hydrated one time I was like, I was in Arizona, and I went to CVS to get some stuff, and I walked in, but then the checkout was like a different door, so, like, so I, I had to leave a different, so I didn't know exactly how to get back, and like, just being, just having to like, go around the corner twice or whatever, I got like, completely disoriented, was, you know, just like, that 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 desert thing was just getting to me, and I was like, I don't know what, you know, and then I just, like, I went into Subway. And and I you know and and they were like oh yeah can we help you with anything I'm like I mean, I'm like I just I just need to like cool off and you know get it get some water or something they're like oh yeah like they 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 understand that they're ready for it wow. like you know and, and 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 I'm like I gotta get my bearings I gotta figure out how to get back to the hotel and stuff and they're like oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that that's like but uh, but I needed the, like like I could have wandered around the block a bunch of times like lost my mind gotten eaten by vultures or something you know they're circling you while yeah. you're walking the block yeah. uh we're at the super bowl we're about to enjoy the game I, I hope you guys all enjoy the game as much you know and and uh you know we're thinking of you all as we're out here at the, at super, the bowl. super bowl we are here super bowl whatever whatever that no super i can't bowl read roman numerals I don't, like it's some some x's and whatnot i think it's super bowl 105 yeah 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 if my uh <laughs> if my uh, uh roman numeral knowledge uh, is correct yeah it looks like it's super bowl 105 it's like a bunch of x's i don't know why they don't just use the number like they just, definitely should just use numbers and yeah something just landed beside me it's a blue blue shirt oh, okay it fell out of the blimp it looks like <laughs> I think it's Mike Katz's oh, shirt. My cat's it's is shirt. It. Okay. it fell from the blood. Who's up in there? It looks, looks like it's the cast of Pumping Fire. <laughs> yes, they're here. They're here. They're flying. They're in the Total Recall Show blimp. It's Lou the money, Frig now. The money well spent. Then, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I was like, that blimp's starting to like sink a little bit from on that beat. <laughs> <laughs> did, did Lou ever do like a football movie? I like, don't know. He I should be think... in a football movie, you know? Definitely. Like, or he's like, he conks two mm-hmm. players' heads together. Mm-hmm. He's like Louie. Yeah, <laughs> Louie, 
You're, 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 a, like, you're like something Michelangelo Angelo. would have carved out of marble. Because he's, I see people flexing their muscles out yeah. the window of the blimp. How'd that blimp get off the ground? <laughs> I don't know. There's a ton of meat up in that blimp. <laughs> it's the cast of Pumping Iron, <laughs> minus somebody that keeps the yeah, the, yeah, big, big star big who we're going to be talking about, about on another video. Yeah, so, yeah. So anyway, uh, uh, we're here at the Super Bowl, uh, uh, Go Philadelphia team. versus Kansas City. I'm Tom Scholey, author of Jack Kirby, The Epic Life, The King of Comics, and Fantastic Four Grand Design. I'm Matt Zioli. And you can follow me on Twitter at Tom Scholey or on Instagram at Tom underscore Scholey. Follow me on Instagram at Cinema underscore two. And check out my Patreon. Go to Patreon.com, search Tom Scholey, and you'll see a bunch of comics, uh, a few years worth of comics I've been working on. You got access to the full archive. Follow the show on Instagram at Total underscore Recall underscore Show. And hope you know. Hopefully, we get to do this again next year. We gotta go to another Super Bowl. Yeah. Go Eagles. <laughs> fly, birds, fly. Yeah, fly, Eagles, fly. Bam, 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 bam. Here we go. Eagles, Eagles. Here we go. Philly's going to the Super Bowl. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if the Eagles ever did one of those. Something like yeah, the uh, Chicago with the Super Bowl shuffle. You yeah, had, uh, Pittsburgh with the here we go Steelers, but yeah, I don't, I don't know that they ever did a Philly one. It be... It's cool the fridge is here. We might have to hit them to do a little. Uh, we're like, we're <laughs> not that. we're not looking for trouble. We're just here doing do the, Super recall Bowl the, the recall shovel. Ah. <laughs> the recall shovel. <laughs> 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 the recall yeah. shovel. You know, we we're just can't, here it's doing Cape the... Kaplan. <laughs> it's all the all the, all the, rec- all the stars. The stars are total. Michael Keaton, yeah. Cape Kaplan, yeah. Liberty. <laughs> <laughs> all lined up <laughs> doing doing the recall shuffle. That's like that's our Sergeant Pepper. Like if we had like if we do the total recall my album, fall out of my head. we gotta do like a Sergeant Pepper with like uh, us with like uh, Gabe Kaplan and Lou Ferrigno and uh, in the background. <laughs> and, and my cats and like uh, yeah, like. <laughs> <laughs> Kaplan, he's got the grudge awards. He's like, can't do the shuffle. You know what we gotta do? We gotta bring into our universe. We gotta, like, because the Super Bowl shuffle, you know, we love it. But, like, there was that one you sent me of, like, all the wrestlers. Oh my song gosh, yes. With, like, somebody, like, refused to oh, sing. Oh, it was Virgil. It was Virgil. Virgil. He was, Virgil. He was Virgil. stoic. Yeah, he was, he was like, like, he's in character. And, like, yeah. his decision is that his character would not participate Beta. in this uh, nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> the recall shovel. The recall shovel. Like, <laughs> he's like, we had to do the recall shovel. It's where the tusks are loose. We, 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 got, we got to hire like a professional <laughs> choreographer to come up with this, <laughs> the uh, recall shovel. It's like, <laughs> it has Lou Brigno yeah. on the stage. <laughs> <laughs>